Hey, and welcome back to another video from my Vintage Tech Showcase playlist, the playlist of videos where I showcase older electronic devices in a form of retro style review. And what we have here today is the Nokia N78 from 2008. Now, the N78 is an interesting phone. Uh, as you can see, its design is uh, kind of unusual. It has this uh, sort of uh, blend in sort of keyboard uh, that lights up only whenever you need it. And you can see the keys are very minimalist and stuff like that. Now, this particular phone, as you can see, is a bit crooked. That's because the key keypad was coming off earlier and I repaired it in this video over here. So if you haven't already seen it, that's the repair video for this phone. And uh, today we'll be going over uh, uh, this phone's uh, d basically all this phone's details in a form of uh, retro style review oops i forgot to take this off uh, from the photography session the other day because the flash on this phone was malfunctioning um, anyway we'll be going over all the details in this phone in a retro style review also I tried to use this phone for a few days so I can combo the review with a uh, using it in 2022 style video as well so this is a combo video uh, uh, for uh, basically the first time on the retro or vintage tech showcase playlist so we'll try and combo it because I try I did use this phone for a while and I got a feel for it so I'll, I'll be also giving you uh, my opinions and uh, all the details uh, regarding that and of course as usual before jumping right in don't forget to smash that like button down below as it helps this video get on YouTube's algorithm and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and also ring that bell notification button because uh, a lot of people have been telling me that um, uh, they are not being notified of my upload so uh, the only way for you to get notified of my uploads is by hitting that bell notification button so you get notified whenever I upload a new video uh, YouTube YouTube for some reason has not been suggesting my videos uh, to some of my subscribers and they've been telling me I didn't even know you uploaded a video I wasn't notified by it so don't forget to ring that bell notification button so you're notified whenever I upload a new video also don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this phone do you have one do you own one do you plan to get one in the future did you own one at some point or if you have any questions also leave a comment down below or a question down below and we can just start a discussion or I can answer your questions my social media is linked down in the description below which includes instagram discord and twitter and now let's jump right into this video now to start things off uh, let's do a bit of history on this thing so this thing was announced in february of 2008 uh, the 11th of february 2008 and launched on the 26th of may 2008 for a price tag of 350 euros and uh, it was a budget uh, n-series phone so it wasn't a budget budget nokia phone it was a budget n-series phone so the lower end of the uh, flagship devices from the n-series so uh, we have the uh, 8 series over here the 80 series the n8s and uh, we have some n90s over here the n97 and the n91 the upper uh, most premium n-series devices these were the cheaper of the n-series Series devices the n70s we have an n71 over here as well uh, so these were the cheaper end of the n series uh, this thing runs uh, symbian 9.3 s60 third edition and is also the very first nokia device uh, to have the uh, new extended guitar based variant of the nokia tune so the uh, classic nokia tune uh, in the guitar form basically played on a guitar uh, was first introduced on this phone and we'll try and play it a bit later in the ringtone section of this video as well and uh Despite its low price, this thing actually does pack a lot of features, uh, which will, of course, we'll be discussing uh, over uh, the course of this video. And uh, this thing also has a lot of design simil similarities to the N81, the N96, and I think the N82 as well. So uh, this phone, despite being the cheaper end of the N series, was no slouch. It did pack a lot of features. And after using this for a while, uh, I definitely noticed those uh, features and uh, the camera is something else and we'll discuss that later it's a really really good camera so that's just a quick uh, background and history on the Nokia N78 now firstly let's have a quick uh, go around of the device itself now as you can see up front we have the uh, earpiece over here then we have the 
probably the light sensor or proximity sensor over there and then the camera as well n78 branding the display nokia branding the keyboard over here just ignore it being a bit crooked the the repair job that i did uh, was not perfect because placing this thing back together was a bit hard um and aligning it properly is not the uh, easiest thing ever because this phone is held together in a weird way which i'll talk to talk to you about in a bit we have the uh the selection and navigation button here which is also touch sensitive it was called the navi wheel back in the day as you can see it is touch sensitive however mine doesn't seem to work that well it's not that sensitive anymore it kind of malfunctions but it is what it is uh we have the multimedia button over here as well uh we have hidden buttons over here as you can see the accept call button and the uh decline call button we have a bunch of buttons here we have the home button here uh to go to the main menu and stuff we have the c button over here and uh we have the sort of uh, sim single strip uh, main buttons over there. A very interesting design on the front there. And now let's take a look at the side of the device. So uh, as you can see on this side, we have uh, a speaker grill up here. We have the volume rockers over here as well. And we have the camera shutter button, which is half press to focus and full press to take a photo. Uh, moving on to the bottom of the phone, we have a lanyard strap over there and a hole for the main speaker as well. Uh, moving on to this side we have a another speaker grill over there so uh, it does have stereo speakers so one at the bottom here one at the top on the other end there uh, and we also do have a charging port for the old style uh, slimmer barrel charger uh, we have our uh, micro sd expansion slot over there as well and our usb uh, micro usb port there uh, as well uh, moving on to the top of the phone we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the power button there on the side and uh, we can also move on to the back of the phone and as you can see it says uh, nokia n series over there there's this uh, button to pull back and take out the back cover uh, we have our 3.2 megapixel shooter up here and the uh, single led flash there as well so in terms of build quality this phone isn't actually the best because uh, if you watch that repair video this thing is kind of held together by glue and this overlapping side frame so that's what over time the keyboard kind of separated from uh, itself and like the layers of glue separated and i had to paste it back but still it wasn't that easy to get it aligned and stuff so it's not a perfect job as you can see there uh, so the build quality on this phone is not the greatest so they packed a lot of features into this for an n-series phone but i think they skimped out a bit on the build quality but still that is with respect to a nokia n-series phone regardless it's still a really well-built phone it feels nice in the hand the keyboard also feels really unique and uh, it feels nice in the hand uh, to press the buttons and all that stuff this phone also looks really really nice uh it is just less than expected uh for a phone from the n series lineup it's just nokia set their bar so high that whenever they do a small mistake it's re it's kind of hard to uh uh ignore that but regardless it's still a really good uh, phone but for an n series phone i would have liked it to be built a bit better rather than using this strange overlapping side design and uh, this button on the back cover also breaks really easy but regardless it does feel nice in the hand it does feel sleek and it looks really sleek as well when it's uh, in its locked position the phone uh, does look really sleek and nice as you can see they're very minimalist and stuff um, really like the look of this phone and uh, overall uh, the build quality is okay but it would have been a bit better for an n series to have a slightly better build quality but regardless it's still a really really well built phone all right, so let us talk about the display on this thing. And this thing has a really, really nice display. So it's a TFT LCD display. However, it has 16 million colors. So it's not the uh, 256,000 uh, color TFT LCD display. Instead, it has uh, the full color complement of 16 million colors. Um, and it is a gorgeous display. When I took it out, it was bright uh, and uh, the sunlight didn't really affect it that much. Um, the colors are accurate 
accurate, they're sharp, uh, and it's a really, really nice display, even using it here in 2021. And um, it is a 2.4 inch display, so 2.4 inches like that diagonally, uh, 240 by 320 pixels, so 240 by 320 pixels, which gives it a four by three aspect ratio and a pixel density of about 100, uh, 167 pixels per inch. So not the highest pixel density, but still, regardless, a really nice display at 167 pixels per inch and um like I said, the colors are accurate. Uh, they're nice, they're bright. The display is really bright. This is uh, sort of a medium brightness, but as you can see, it is really uh, nice and bright. Uh, so it is definitely a stunner of a display and using it outside was just a breeze. It did not have any problem at all. Uh, so it's expected from a Nokia N series phone to have a really, really nice display. And again, a TFT LCD display. However, it has the full 16 million and color complement and I was perfectly happy honestly using this display in 2021 for the few days that I did use it uh, more than happy I mean it's small but uh, that's something you have to get used to from going from something like an iPhone 12 Pro Max which I use on the daily however it's still a really really usable display if you can get over the size it's bright it's colorful uh, and it gets the job done a really really good uh, display but you know that's kind of expected from an N series phone all right, so in terms of internal specifications, now this thing is a smartphone, but it's an old style smartphone. It's not packing uh, quad core processors or anything like that. Uh, it's a pretty simple phone at its core. Now the processor on this thing is a simple single core, 369 megahertz ARM 11 based processor, which was manufactured by Freescale. So Freescale was a semiconductor company uh, in the United States, but uh, they're now defunct because they were dissolved into a Dutch manufacturer called NXP. So yeah, Freescale uh, semiconductors is no more. It was uh, dissolved into the Dutch company called NXP Semiconductors. Uh, but this processor was uh, based on the ARM11 architecture and was made by uh, Freescale uh, Semiconductors. Now, the RAM on this thing is about 96 megabytes and it has an internal storage of about uh, 76 megabytes as well. And also uh, it has a micro SD expansion slot up to this capacity over here. Uh, I cannot remember it off the top of my head, but uh, it probably should be about uh, up to eight gigs. So I'll just put it up on screen there uh, so you know exactly what the uh, expansion capacity on this phone is. Apart from that, everything else is just uh, super basic. It is a simple smartphone and it's running the Symbian Series 60 uh, 3.2 revision as well. And uh, using it from day to day, uh, in, in day to day uh, terms is perfectly fine. It does not slow down or anything. It's a Symbian device. Everything was tailor made for the Symbian operating system uh, to for it to work uh, just flawlessly uh, non-stop throughout its lifetime and even here in 2022 it works just fine the and the only issue that I found with this phone was not really a performance issue but uh, just the uh, issue with the navi wheel over here as you can see it doesn't really work always but i'm pretty sure that's just got to do with my one over here i'm pretty sure if i get a fresh n78 that never had issues in the past it will work just fine it's just uh, my one's uh, navi wheel is just a bit busted as you can see and the keyboard is crooked but apart from that this thing uh, in 2024, uh, in 2022, sorry, uh, was a breeze to use. Uh, and I took it out. Uh, people were, some people were actually staring at me like, what on earth is that thing? Why is he carrying such an old phone around? Uh, but it's still uh, a nice phone to use regardless. It's just a nice break from a full touchscreen phone to go back to buttons and stuff, especially with such a nice uh, sleek design like this. But yeah, uh, using this thing in 2022 in terms of uh, hardware performance was just perfect. Perfect. So now let us go into the OS and interface itself. Now, of course, this being an N-series device, it runs Symbian and this is Symbian S60 uh, Series 3.2, uh, which is the third edition, if you may, and I can show you exactly uh, which version it's running now. So star hash 0000 hash. That should show you the version that it's running. There you go. That's your software version. Uh, it is 
12.046 and we have a bunch of other information over here the rm number 235 and this is your good old symbian now you have your main uh, home screen menu over here this is all customizable from settings and the previous owner has customized it to his liking as you can see and then when you press this button you can go to the main menu over there contacts messages maps music photos video center search web tools applications download this all again could be customized uh, nokia was really heavy on customizations we have media camera all that good stuff over there uh, we have a bit more inside tools then we go to utilities uh, so we have a bunch of stuff here 3d tones voice commands my nokia switch to another device or switch from another device as well so a lot of stuff to mess with and of course you can download even more stuff from the store uh, this is just your good old symbian you can switch to a list view if you want as well and we have a bunch of other stuff over here we have memory details over here i have not put a memory card in so uh, it's only the phone memory as you can see there so uh, that is the Symbian interface on uh, a whole as basically as a whole. We have a multimedia button there as well, uh, which takes you straight to all your music, which is really nice. We have, like I said, all hidden buttons. So uh, you should kind of remember where they are if you're not looking at the phone. We have a call button over there. We have a decline call button over there as well. We have the C button over here. This can be mapped to whatever you like. You have your two selection and back buttons over there. And like I said earlier, the uh, navi wheel it doesn't seem to work on the home screen as you can see there but it does work on the main menu sometimes i show there we go so my navi wheel is a bit busted uh, i hope to show you guys a better working one maybe in the future but uh, i did use it somewhat when i was using this phone and uh, it was definitely fun to use the interface just brings back so many memories uh for, from my childhood from using a nokia 5800 which also had an identical interface but of course touchscreen and it's just your good old nokia uh symbian it was just a breeze to use because i still remember how to use this interface and i was really happy using this with buttons it just brought back a lot of memories it's just your good old uh, symbian interface now in terms of customization firstly i'll show you the menu view changer uh, or you can do it from the menu itself so you have list which is the standard list and we have horseshoe which was uh, kind of popular among some of my friends i remember they liked this horseshoe design let's go back there we go and you can actually use the navi wheel with that as well which is really nice and it's really it feels really nice and then when you pause it on something some of them have the sub menu over there let me show you that uh so do that again there you go you get your sub menu over there you can also switch it to uh a v-shape which is also quite interesting so it's v-shaped it goes back and forth like a v as you can see uh and you get your sub menu over there as well but uh, i like it in the old school uh, grid menu <clears throat> as you can see like that so uh, we can also go into settings and this thing has a bunch of customization options we have display personalization over there standby tones we have themes so we are using a dark theme and under themes as you can see we have a bunch of stuff standby menu view like i showed you earlier uh, and then we also have uh, your general theme so let's select haze uh, Nokia N series 2 was the black one as you can see them this is haze which is somewhat of a blue theme and it changes the icons as well uh, a really really nice theme I'm not sure if this is a third party theme that someone installed uh, but regardless it's a very nice uh, theme but you can download themes from the store earlier of course the store doesn't work anymore but you could download uh, whatever themes you like let's put the N series 1 theme see how that looks and uh, that also goes back to the black-ish design let's try in series three okay so the black wallpaper with different colored uh, uh highlights and stuff like that as you can see so the highlights are what changes but you again you could download themes like i showed you earlier this can be changed as well so uh definitely a lot of personalization really really nice and i was uh entirely enjoying my use uh with this phone for the few days that i did use it i was really really happy to come back to an old n series device even for a short period of time it was still really really nostalgic now we get to the most impressive part of this phone which is its camera but then again you shouldn't be really surprised considering this is a nokia phone and furthermore it's an n series phone regardless of it being the lower end of the n series this thing has an amazing camera and you'll see the picture quality uh, in a bit when i post the pictures there are some lower end phones these days 
that could not compete with this thing. I'm not even kidding. There are lower end phones uh, that could not compete with this thing even today in 2022. The camera on this thing, as you can see, is a 3.2 megapixel autofocus camera with uh, a Carl Zeiss lens, Carl Zeiss Tessa, 2.8 by 4.6 aperture and uh, it can video record at 480p at uh, 15 fps as well and it has a single led flash up there with the amplifier the uh, flash amplifier as well it looks like it has two led flashes but that is actually the flash amplifier and this camera does perform really really well and uh, it also has a front-facing uh, video camera video call camera as well uh, it is a cif video call camera so i'll put the resolution up there uh, i cannot remember what cif is right off the top of my head i'll put the resolution up there and uh, it also can video record as well at uh, i cannot get the information right now so i'll put it up there as well that is the video recording capabilities of the front camera and i'll show you samples of all of that in a bit firstly let's have a quick look at the camera interface so we have our camera shutter button here half press to focus full press to take a photo but you can also go into the camera using the camera shutter button and it doesn't do that always so you can see it's being a bit stubborn now it does it sometimes but not always okay that's a bit annoying but uh uh, it is what it is. So we can still access the camera application under applications. Uh, it does go to the camera and it should go to the camera like that, but it doesn't want to do it always. So we have a bunch of settings. We have change mode to video or photo. We have auto, uh, auto mode here to select night mode and all the other stuff, flash timer. And then we have this thing over here. What is this? I almost forgot. Oh, so sequence mode over there. And we have our RGB settings there as well. Uh, toolbar, switch to secondary camera settings, video mode, go to photos, help, etc., etc. We have a bunch of things under settings as well, as you can see. And uh, we can also switch to the front camera from here. Come on, this button is a bit funky. There we go. Uh, use secondary camera and you'll see <clears throat> the front camera is working there, as you can see. So uh, yeah, that was the camera interface, quite a detailed interface uh, for a, such a simple phone. Uh, there are even modern phones that don't have such a detailed camera interface, but Nokia wanted to give the user the best uh, customization options uh, as possible to select their RGB color settings and all of the stuff, the exposure settings and uh, stuff like that as well. So that was just how Nokia did it back in the day. And uh, it's a really, really simple but effective camera interface. So now let us go ahead uh, and roll the uh, the samples shot during the day but so let's first do the camera samples and then do the video samples as well from the far from the front camera uh, we'll do it at the end uh, and uh, we'll also put some video from the front camera as well so let's roll the samples in three two one
Now, you saw those photos for yourself and uh, you can make up your mind, but uh, <clears throat> you, I, don't, I don't really have to say much. You're talking about a phone that's almost over 15 years old at this point uh, from 2008 and it takes amazing photos just like that. That's really, really impressive. There are honestly modern phones that cannot do that and take blurry, cap uh, blurry crappy photos. Uh, so a very impressive camera, but also nothing surprising considering it's an N-series phone. These things cameras do hold up for a very, very long time. So uh, we can now jump into a quick speaker demo with the ringtones. And uh, of course, don't forget, we'll be doing a separate ringtone video on this phone from my nostalgic ringtones playlist. So definitely stay tuned for that separate video when it does come out uh, but until then well, we'll go over uh, some of the uh, ringtones here so we can go to general personalization we have tones over here <clears throat> we have the ringing volume let us not put it to max because it's ki kind of a bit too loud it's really loud by the way but actually no let's put it to max okay max volume so you can hear the sound of the speakers at its max but we're not playing all the ringtones and by the way, these are stereo speakers. So Polaris, let's start off with that. Let's actually start off with the Nokia ringtone that I mentioned earlier. Where is that? Because I said it, this was the first phone with the guitar version of the Nokia ringtone. Okay, let's hear it. Come on. So the first ever phone with that version of the ringtone, the uh, guitar-based uh, Nokia ringtone. Uh, let's try another few. Okay, so as you can hear, the speakers are really loud and they're not tinny or crackly or anything like that. The two uh, stereo speakers, I wish I can play music on it, but then again, it's copyrighted, so I, I really can't. But as you heard, they're really, really loud on max volume and the uh, first of them all, the, for, uh, the no first Nokia ringtone played on a guitar, you heard it uh, firstly over there. Uh, the first phone to actually have the uh, guitar version of that Nokia ringtone, really interesting, very nice speakers, really loud. But then again, you shouldn't be too impressed. This was an N-series phone. It was packing uh, with features, uh, which also includes the stereo speakers that are really loud, really nice, not crackly and not tinny either. Uh, so for extra features on this thing now, like I said, again, it's an N-series, it's packing. This thing has Wi-Fi uh, with, UN, uh, with UPnP technology. It also has Bluetooth and A2DP. It also has GPS with Nokia Maps. Of course, it should have that. Uh, it has a uh, FM transmitter, and this is actually one of the first phones also with an FM transmitter alongside a Sony Ericsson phone. This one over here, I think it was the W960 or something like that. Uh, the W960 was slightly older than this, but uh, uh, this thing and the W960, I, I called it the W960, but it could be that one. <clears throat> I may have uh, mixed up the names, but I'll put it up there if I was wrong. I won't be putting it up there if I was right. So I'm pretty sure it's the W960. That phone was the first to have a uh, FM transmitter and this thing was the second, I think. Uh, so one of the first uh, phones with an FM transmitter and the first ever Nokia phone with an FM transmitter as well. And it also has a stereo FM radio, uh, of course, and USB 2.0. Uh, web browser, push to talk, organizer, uh, wireless printing to a printer, document viewer for Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and PDF, predictive text, and etc. etc. Uh, it is a feature packed phone 
uh, because of course it's an n-series phone and uh, for a user back in the day this would have just been a complete treat to use and i also enjoyed some of those features uh, i actually transferred the photos that i got from this uh, camera via bluetooth to my pc so that's a nice feature to have as well but the, the transfer was also quite fast uh, regardless despite it being such an old phone so definitely a feature packed phone from the n-series lineup and also whenever you do get a notification as you can see it has a notification light uh, right under the navi wheel or the scroll wheel as you can see it blinks to notify you that you've got a notification and with this sleek design honestly that light blinking looks really nice it looks really premium let's see it again there you go with this sleek minimalist design that light just looks so nice it was easily one of the more uh more minor but nicer touches to this phone now for battery performance and i'm gonna say it again but this is an n-series device these things were focused on multimedia and uh, if you're going to make a multimedia phone the thing better have a lot of battery uh, life in it to um, let the user use it as long as possible and uh, enjoy all those multimedia features now this thing is a bl5f battery form i think a nokia n95 but it does fit in the uh, uh, n78 regardless because uh, it's the identical size however this is a 950 milliamp hour battery but the battery that shipped with this was the bl6f uh, which which was a 1200 milliamp hour battery so it's definitely an upgrade over this and that probably made a huge difference and with the bl6f this thing had a standby time of about 320 hours on 2g and about 312 hours on 3g so not much of a difference there and uh, the talk time was about 4 hours and 20 minutes on 2G and 3 hours and 10 minutes on 3G. So uh, definitely a really, really good battery life there to keep you going uh, throughout the day and maybe even more if you're a more lighter user. Uh, it is a Nokia N-series phone. You shouldn't be uh, too surprised about it having a really good battery life. Uh, this may have been on the budget end of things of the N-series, but regardless, it still has a really, really good battery life. And yeah, so we've come to the end of this video uh, on the uh, retro style review slash using the Nokia N78 here in 2022. A really nice phone that I really enjoyed using for the few th few days that I did use it. Uh, it's sleek, it looks nice, it's very minimalist. I really love the look, the notification light, the operating system, the killer camera that decimates lower end phones from even 2022, which is really, really surprising a lovely camera and uh, overall a solid phone from the n-series lineup the only complaint that i had is the slight uh, build quality issue with this overlapping design causes the keyboard to break over time but regardless um it's still a very very nice phone easily one of my more favorite phones from the n-series but that I really can't say that because I love the whole N series. Look at just sitting over here. We have the N8. We have the N8 prototype that I've showed you early. We have the N71, a lovely bulky flip phone. We have the N97, a gorgeous white N97 sitting over here. We have the king of the N series in my uh, my opinion, honestly, the N91. But then again, I can't say that because the N95 exists and the N95 is a monster of a phone as well. See, you really see, I can't really desire what's my favorite n-series phone they're just they're all just so good so this was no different a very very solid phone and i really enjoyed using this here in 2022 i hope you enjoyed this video and if you honestly did don't forget to smash that like button down below as it helps this video get on youtube's algorithm and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring that bell notification button so you're notified whenever i upload a new video and make sure you do so so you're notified because youtube has been not recommending my videos to some viewers so definitely hit that notification button ask a question down below or leave a comment whatever you think about the n78 do you own one do you plan on getting one do you have one in your collection uh, ask a question we can discuss uh, whatever you have down below or i can answer your questions my social media is linked down in the description below which includes instagram discord and twitter thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video